Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of our Tech Tuesday webinar series. Uh, I am your MC for this afternoon, Kevin Marheine, our digital marketing specialist here at Cortex Services, joined today uh, by Bob Secord, our CSP coordinator, and Robert Loveless, one of our solution architects. And uh, today's topic for this installment of the Tech Tuesday webinar series is going to be taking a look at Lakeside, uh, as well as their SysTrack digital experience monitoring tool. So. Uh, without uh, taking too much time here, just want to cover a couple housekeeping items. If you do have any questions, please feel free to go ahead and submit those using the chat function uh, and go to the webinar, and we'll get to those at the end of the webinar. We'll also be, after the completion of the webinar, sending out a recording of today's uh, presentation so that if you want to come back and take a look at anything we went over, you'll have that available to you. So. Uh, without any further ado, I'm going to hand it over to Robert, uh, and he'll go ahead and start running us through the presentation they've uh, prepared for today. So, Robert, take it away. Yeah, thank you, Kevin. Um, so, Robert Lovelace with Cortex Services. Excited to talk to you guys about uh, Lakeside and their SysTrack solution today. Uh, we're going to be uh, – actually, let's go into our agenda – um, so in, for today's discussion, we're really going to be focusing on the Office 365 uh, dashboards that Lakeside SysTrack has to offer. Um, and we're going to be going into our first understanding what some of the challenges are in managing Office 365 today, um, how the Lakeside SysTrack tool can help you in, in kind of uh, um, uh, coming, uh, I guess, a, working through some of these challenges. And then we're gonna go into a live demonstration of some of the dashboards that you get with the Office 365 um, dashboards as part of the tool. And then we're going to talk about um, Lakeside's partnership with Cortec and how our Cortec CSP customers today have access to these Office 365 dashboards um, as a value add for being in the Cortec CSP. Um, so let's dive right in. So talking about common O365 bottlenecks. Um, so what we have here is we, we listed a couple of them. And, and the first one um, is, is a real challenge is just end user adoption. Uh, how do we get insight into, um, we just made this purchase of Office 365 licensing that includes all of these uh, tools or features and how do we know that our, our team is actually adopting and using them? Um, the licensing right sizing, how do we know that what we purchased is the right license for a, a specific user or a specific group of users or, or a role for, um, for these users? How do we know that we're not uh, purchasing features or applications that they won't use or don't need um, and getting insight into that? Uh, end user troubleshooting, uh, probably a, a very common one if you're a, a sysadmin, uh, getting phone calls, especially with the, uh, remote workforces and trying to troubleshoot and support these end users through some of their problems with, uh, it, maybe it's not even an Office 365 related application, maybe you're looking at um, some uh, Adobe applications that are, are not behaving properly, but um, it's it's all related back to, or this tool can give you insight into um, processes that are running on their endpoint. Uh, and then future planning. As you look at growth within your organization and you're targeting uh, specific uh, um, roles um, for hire within the organization, as you if you understand what uh, Office 365 license is necessary by role you will know exactly what you need to, to purchase or procure um, in order to, to bring on that person day one. It's not a guessing game of what license they will need. It's, it's defined by role within the organization. Um, so how does Lakeside solve these issues? And Bob, I'm gonna kind of uh, uh, lean on you a little bit here. Um, but kind of talk through how Lakeside is able to help us solve some of these bottlenecks. Yeah, sure. Thanks, Robert. Um, so Lakeside SysTrack is actually, uh, essentially it's an endpoint monitoring uh, tool uh, that takes actual end user info, uh, telemetry data, 
and uh, pulls it into a, a collector, and then it creates dashboards uh, from that info. Um, so talking a little bit about the actual SysTrack agent here, uh, so we can see on, on kind of starting from the left of this page, um, an agent is installed on each endpoint, so on each user's device uh, that takes that uh, user's uh, telemetry data, reports it back into a collector, and then from there, um, IT admins can actually look at the end user's uh, usage and determine, you know, like Robert said, uh, what issues they're facing, uh, if they have any license right sizing that needs to be done, and also plan for future expansions uh, in their business. Um, they can look at uh, things like how their users are using a particular suite of office licenses and also start to do some end user troubleshooting uh, for particular um, applications in their environment. Yeah, and, and one of my uh, uh, favorite things to do is uh, as uh, my role, I, I've done a number of these demonstrations for customers as they're, they're in our CSP today and uh, they get access to this uh, O365 dashboards. Um, so I, I pick on the salesperson that invited me into the, the, the demonstration and I will actually um, pull their data so we'll review and see if they're using OneDrive. Um, I can see what they are able to store within their OneDrive, uh, the two terabytes, and we can see if they're actually using it, if it's 0% consumed or 10% consumed. Um, we can see what applications they use. It's, it's uh, again, a, a very powerful tool for providing some, some good insight into uh, if that user has the right license. Yeah, right, exactly. So really we, we want our users to be using, just like Robert said, we want, you know, typically want people to be backing up all their information in OneDrive. Um, so that is a good, a really great kind of use case there for sure. Uh, but we do, we have identified kind of five main use cases uh, for Lakeside. Uh, the first one is app standardization. Um, so really that's going through your environment, looking at your current applications and seeing what needs to be opt optimized. Um, so maybe applications that are old, a little bit outdated, and they're creating some latency for some of your users. Uh, Lakeside can help you with that. Um, also, proactive help desk. Um, so a lot of times in our IT environments, we see uh, users that may, maybe send us a, a Teams message and say, hey, uh, my computer's broken, can you fix it? Uh, really what Lakeside does is it help, helps get you past that initial um, you know, kind of troubleshooting step when looking at an end user's um, device. Um, Needs-based procurement. Um, so really does our technology fit our business? Are we using uh, the correct licensing packages for our end users or, or really do we, do we need to make changes um, with that? Um, the next one there is resource impact. Um, so how will my users be affected if we migrate or consolidate an old application? So maybe we have some users that are using, uh, you know, a really out of date application, but they it's it's necessary to their day to day uh, work life. Uh, if we take away that application, that would have a pretty profound effect on them. Um, so really looking at that type of information when we're doing these um, updates and, and standardization projects. Um, the next one and, and quite possibly the, the biggest one uh, right now is remote workforce optimization. So really you can get into um, location-based information for your users as they're working remotely. Uh, you know, especially right now, we can see a lot of users who are working from their home uh, remotely, and we see that they're maybe having a lot of latency or some connectivity issues. Uh, Lakeside can help you uh, really get to the bottom of those types of issues that you're seeing. Uh, so now we're gonna dive into a live demo here of the of uh, Lakeside for Cortec. Um, so we're going to be looking at kind of a, a a a test demo tenant that we have set up here at Cortec, um, and really specifically to the Office 365 uh, Office 365 dashboards that that are included with with Cortec CSP. Um, so the first dashboard here is the O365 uh, landing page. 
really what we see here is just kind of a high level overview of the number of licenses that you currently have assigned in your environment. Um, and then below here we see the um, all the dashboards that are included in this in this dashboard package. Um, so we're just going to be highlighting uh, about four of these dashboards here today, uh, ones that we think our, our customers get a lot of value out of. Um, the first one is the Office 365 planning dashboard. Um, this dashboard is where we can really start to see um, the actual end user um, information that Lakeside is able to, to populate for us. Um, and it also starts to give suggestions uh, for right sizing uh, your license quantities and counts. Um, so starting here, the O365 suggestion chart, uh, this really just gives you an overall total of suggested licenses uh, in your environment. And then here down below, we can actually see uh, particular end users and what a good license package would be for them. Um, so for example, this user, Andre Pearson, we can see that Lakeside is recommending them an E3 or an E5, uh, just based on actually the, um, the, the applications that they are using uh, specific to Office 365. Kind of moving back up to the top here, we see this licensing suggestions grid. Again, this just gives kind of a high level overview um, of the suggested packages um, that Lakeside is recommending. Um, below that, we see a, a monthly cost based on the recommendations. Uh, so if, if your environment uh, was completely right sized, um, this would be uh, your monthly total uh, for those license packages. Uh, moving on here to the O365 summary. Um, so this dashboard is, is, is one that's very useful when you're looking to right size your Office uh, 365 uh, licensing suite. Uh, here we can see uh, just kind of a percentage of which licenses are currently being used most. Uh, we can also change these sliders to really uh, customize the, the data here. Um, so for example, Yammer, it looks like about 96% of our users in our environment here in this demo tenant um, are actually not using Yammer at all. Um, but one of the really, really cool features of Lakeside is the redundant accounts page here. Um, so here we can see about six or seven SKUs um, that users have actually never used. Uh, and, it, and it gives you the, the username here below. So for example, this Office 365 E3 SKU here, we can see that there's uh, maybe about 10 or 15 users who have actually never recorded any use for that E3, but they have it assigned to them. Um, so if we were looking to come in here and clean up some of these uh, E3 licenses, uh, these would be the first users who we would actually want to uh, take an E3 license away just because that um, that's kind of sitting there accumulating costs when they're really not even using it. It might even be a, a great opportunity to do a little AD cleanup. Right, exactly, for sure. Yeah. Yep. Um, and then here below, uh, kind of what Robert was, was mentioning previously, uh, we can see OneDrive and Mailbox sizing summaries. Um, so on, uh, it actually gives off a recommendation to increase or decrease your OneDrive size and, and mailbox sizing respectively. Um, so if, if from this page you would see uh, maybe a lot of users who are using uh, pretty much their full capacity of their OneDrive or their mailbox, uh, you could come in here and, and maybe maybe assign those users a new um, uh, exchange plan or uh, a license that would give them a bigger mailbox or OneDrive. Yep. And the other piece there, um, going back, is you can actually slide, there's little slider bars that you can actually slide up and down. So if you have a, a target for consumed storage, um, um, either as a, a, a targeting users for expanding or a target for uh, a lack of consumed storage for reducing their licensing, you can slide that slider bar up and down. Right. Yep. Yeah. All of these uh, sliders are customizable. And then the uh, the graph here on the right would would update accordingly. Um, so the O365 performance by location. This is a great dashboard to use uh, for your remote workforce. Uh, we can actually dive in and look at an application uh, basis and see how it's performing based on location. Um, so for example, we'll we'll take a look at the at Outlook here. 
um, for all of our systems. And we can start to dive in here and really see where our users are seeing uh, the most issues. Uh, so we can, we can click on this user out here. Uh, if we scroll down here, we can actually see it's a user based out of Meridian, Idaho. Uh, and we can, we can really start to dive in and see, and see why, uh, where he's having the issues. Uh, we can see the amount of CPU he's using, memory, IOPS, and then uh, possibly the, the biggest one here is his active time here, uh, and then latency as well. And then on the right, it would just populate that user's name uh, and then give that information there as well. So uh, you can really dive in by location and ap application um, and see where your users are experiencing the most issues. Um, the next dashboard here is the O365 uh, drill down. Um, this dashboard really gives, uh, gives you very detailed granular information on a per user basis. Uh, so for example, we, we selected this user, uh, Chris here. Uh, we can see which, which products he currently has assigned. Uh, we can see where he's spending uh, the majority of his time. Looks like Chris is spending just about half of his time in Outlook uh, and quite a bit of time in Teams. Uh, we can also look at things like mailbox quota. So Chris is using just a little, uh, looks like 3.5% of his mailbox quota. And then we can also see uh, application performance from this, from this page as well. Uh, so we can see which applications are, are giving him the most errors and hangs. Looks like Outlook is, is giving him quite a bit of trouble here. Um, and then uh, a little bit from Teams, Word, and OneNote as well. Uh, and then it, uh, gives you information about your OneDrive uh, on a per user basis as well from this page. So going back to the presentation here. Um, so Lakeside and Cortec have a, uh, a a pretty unique partnership that we are really, really excited about. Um, it's essentially what we're offering is uh, the Office 365 dashboards um, to customers who are in our CSP um, who have purchased uh, either the Office or Microsoft Enterprise suite of licenses through Cortec. Um, the Office 365 dashboards are actually included um, at no cost, just as kind of a, uh, a value add. Along with that, we're also offering quarterly analytical sessions uh, with our CSP customers just to really dive into the data and, and see if there's any type of uh, spend or, or right sizing uh, that, we can, that we can do for you. Um, and then additionally, there is also access to the entire suite of the Lakeside dashboards um, at, a, at a discounted price. So... All right, Kevin, we'll uh, look to you for any questions from the audience. Yeah, we have, uh, looks like we have three questions here to go over. Uh, we'll start with the first one that came through here, and that was, uh, does an agent need to be installed on each device? Well, do you want that or do you want me to take it? Yeah, I got it. So, um, yeah, so an agent does need to be installed on each device to get the really granular uh, really granular drill down info that we were looking at there. Um, the SysTrack agent is a very, very lightweight agent uh, that can be pushed to all of your devices via Intune or any other uh, uh, solution that, that you have for pushing out um, packages. And obviously Cortec will assist, uh, assist you in all that, um, in that in that process there. Yeah, the, so to actually get into um the to see what processes are running and to see what uh, um, memory utilization cpu utilization iops is where that having that um, um, installed is, is going to give you that additional data but uh, it, there's some information it's not a complete loss if there is um, any pushback and we can give you some security information around what it's looking at how it's working and functioning uh, we definitely reach out and we can provide that for you. Great. Uh, the second question here is, can Lakeside do anything other than Office 365? Yeah, so uh, Lakeside 
uh, Lakeside as a whole does quite a bit more than just the Office 365 uh, kind of information we looked at today. Um, additionally, there are uh, WVD dashboards uh, and, and assessments that, that Lakeside offers. So if, if you're looking to uh, move to WVD, um, those are also uh, can also be um, used. There's also things like um, AI ops um, and Resolve. Um, there's IGEL sessions, session dashboards that you can use. Um, and then there's a whole kind of other uh, kind of suite of application-based uh, dashboards. Yeah, well. and this specifically the application-based dashboards. Um, so with uh, a, a, a remote workforce, a lot of our organizations are looking at, uh, or a lot of the companies we work with are looking to move to uh, a modern desktop. Um, so um, for example, maybe it's... Uh, a WVD desktop running out of Azure, or maybe it's a Citrix environment. Um, when organizations are looking to, to move workloads to a modern desktop, it's, it's really good to understand what applications are your core applications or primary applications. Leveraging uh, Lakeside SysTrack tool, you can get uh, uh, amazing data as far as uh, who's opening the application, who's actually, not just where it's installed and saying that it's installed on a thousand devices, but actually saying, okay, it's installed on a thousand devices. And in the last week, a uh, hundred users opened it. So you know exactly who's using it um, and, and not just where it's installed. So it, it's, you can get some good data out of tools like ICCM on where applications are installed but you'll never get usage data. And that's where, that's a game changing piece of data when you talk about um, moving workloads and, and creating a modern desktop for the users um, and targeting and kind of creating your, your primary or core applications and then tier one, tier two, tier three applications. Um, so I know that uh, in my experience with, with doing migrations, um, one of the toughest things is getting the biggest bang for your buck. If we get these 10 applications into our modern desktop, how many users will that get us? If we get these 15 applications into our modern desktop, how many users will that get us in our modern desktop? So um, this is a, a critical tool when, when looking at um, uh, making those types of migrations. Fantastic, and, and the last question here, uh, which is one that I can relate to uh, having recently Join Core Tech and, and being, uh, you know, having to, having to learn quickly a variety of new acronyms and terms. Uh, what is CSP? Uh, it's a great question, actually. So I know we threw it out there a couple times and, and talking about how you get these Office 365 dashboards as being a part of our CSP. So um, Core Tech is, is a tier one cloud solutions provider with Microsoft. Um, essentially, what that means is there's, there's three avenues of acquiring Microsoft licensing or um, uh, uh, obtaining an Azure subscription or tenant. Uh, and um, what they are is there's the enterprise agreement or EA agreement. And that's uh, a lot of larger organizations and you make this upfront commitment and you get a discount based on the amount of commitment you make. The other option is pay as you go. You're paying MSRP, there's no commitments, pay as you go. Uh, the third option is working with a cloud solutions provider uh, or Cortec and purchasing the licenses through Cortec. Uh, we have our own agreements that we make with the customer um, and we have value adds. Um, I think we had previously talked about in one of the uh, webinars that I did, the Azure management suite um, if we haven't, we'll schedule it, it'll, it'll come. It's an amazing tool that Cortec has created to allow and give insight into uh, governance, Azure governance, as well as uh, financial management of your Azure subscription. Um, but also it gives uh, Office 365 insight as well. Now, those are value adds. Uh, the, the, another value add was us pick, teaming up with Lakeside to provide these O365 dashboards for free to our CSP customers. So if you're in our CSP and you purchase Office 365 licenses 
and you don't have this lakeside tool today, you're not using it, reach out to CSP support at cortech.com and ask Bob why you don't have it. <laughs> Great. So, yeah, I, and I know uh, we are do have a, a solution spotlight coming up, taking a look at AMS. So I know we, we did cover it uh, briefly in a, in a, a past uh, Tech Tuesday webinar, but we will be taking another look there and, and sort of showing that off a little bit more in an upcoming webinar. So that will be uh, available, I want to say that's, I think it's in October is when it's scheduled. So that'll awesome. that'll be up on the website. And of course, invites will be going out for, for that as well. So we can dive into that a little bit more if you're interested. Uh, but that does it for the questions I have here. Uh, I know we're five minutes ahead of time, but we can go ahead and give everyone those five minutes back. And uh, just want to wrap things up here. Of course, like I said, we will be sending out a recording of today's webinar uh, for you to view and refer back to. Um, if you do want to get in contact with Cortech, the best way is to go to cortech.com. Uh, you can either hit the schedule a meeting button and fill it out that way or go to the contact page and submit a request there. Uh, best ways to get a hold of us there. And then, uh, of course, you may, if you do fill out a request there, end up getting in contact with either Robert or Bob. I'm sure they'll be happy to help you um, as we sort of route that here internally. But um, that'll do it for today's Tech Tuesday webinar. Uh, and we'll be back again next week, uh, taking a look at Azure Kubernetes 101 is the topic for that one. So uh, until then, uh, this has been Cortex Services, and we'll catch you during the next Tech Tuesday webinar. Thank you and have a nice afternoon.